Hi all, Dave Dean Hart with W Designs here. It's been a while, so I figured I'd go ahead and share some of the processes that I've been using uh, to make my life a little bit easier. This process is for mass producing molds. So when I know a client is gonna need multiples of a product and I'm gonna be casting dozens of them at a time, uh, sometimes it makes sense to have multiple molds. So what I do is I print my master model, which is a technique that I typically do anyway. So in this case, it doesn't really matter what the model is. This, this is a paddle, but uh, uh, the master model is mounted into the mold box. And uh, we're just going to go ahead and pull, pour some silicone in and make a couple more molds so that we can ramp up production on these guys. So I like to 3D print my master models and finish them to the customer spec. I get them cleaned up, remove print lines if needed. Uh, sometimes it doesn't matter depending on the use case, but uh, sometimes it does. Uh, in this case, you can see that the mold box is multiple pieces. So we've got uh, two rear pieces, two front pieces, and they're all held together with binder clips. I have a base that's laser cut, uh, and it's two layers here, just to help make sure that everything stays seated and proper so that if I need to pick this up and move it, I don't have to worry about, uh, about messing anything up. Uh, it's also pretty handy just to make sure that uh, the base is squeezed together, even though I have waxed it uh, so that the seams don't leak. It just helps make sure that everything stays true. So I already know how much, uh, how much silicone I'm going to need. So let's go ahead and get that mixed up. Since I already had a casting of the rubber, I already know how much it weighed. So this should be pretty close to what I'm gonna need. So one of the tricks and tips uh, that you'll need to know for making a mold is make sure your workbench is level. Let's get this mixed up. We're gonna scrape the sides and the bottom and uh, thoroughly mix this for about a minute minute and a half till there's no swirls. And then we're gonna vacuum to gas. So this particular silicone has a 15 minute working time and a four hour demold. It's a platinum cure silicone. So you do need to be careful about cure inhibition uh, and make sure that you do a test on whatever piece you're making the mold for to ensure that, uh, that you don't have any issues. Now, if it were a resin print, you do have to take other precautions to ensure you don't have cure inhibition. Okay, so I'm gonna pour half of this into this container and leave half in the original. And we're gonna stick this into the vacuum chamber. And we will go ahead and fire this up for a couple minutes. Just going to start at a low spot and work our way around. Allow this to just flow, not catch any bubbles. I did not use mold release on this FDM print. You can if you like, but it will change your surface finish. In this case, I don't want to change the surface finish. So we're going to go around here. We're going to keep filling. So I've already got that streaming down there through the edge. So we're in good shape there. 
and it's joined up, so we didn't catch any bubbles. We don't have any undercuts here, so it's a fairly simple and straightforward dump mold. But by doing this, this allows me to mass produce the molds uh, one every four hours in this case, but I could also use other silicones that set up in 30 to 45 minutes and, uh, and have a whole batch of them in a day, all from the same master model. Okay, so you can see we're in pretty good shape. I uh, may just pour a little more out just to top that off, but it doesn't really matter. Uh, I don't need the outer shell in this case to use as a mother mold because the uh, the silicone is a Shore 25A, so it's fairly firm. And uh, I just do keep it on a flat surface. I actually have multiple bases here that I just leave the uh, the silicone mold on so that I can pick it up and move it as needed uh, and it doesn't lose its shape and, uh, and it's also good for storage. Uh, if you like this video, please like, give a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and uh, by all means, if you have any questions about any other parts of the process uh, that come in front from 3D printing the master models to casting the actual pieces, let me know. All right, so we're back. It's been a couple hours, about five or six actually, uh, since we cast this. Needed four hours to set up. So what I'm gonna do, what I like to do, is I like to trim the edge before I take this out of mold. It's just easier this way to get a nice clean trim. I could do it with scissors after, you could do it with a knife after, you could do it however you want. Okay, there we go. That side is trimmed up. Nice and clean. Okay. clips off, and pull this off of here. So you can see, actually, and this is one of the nice things about this, is uh, I've got the little base on here. So I did have a little seepage through some of the wax. Wow, quite a bit of seepage, actually. Uh, but that's not an issue. It didn't seep out to make much of a mess, so we're in good shape there. So we'll clean that up. That peels right off of there. So each mold has one of these. We got a little wax on here, so we just break that free a little bit. Of course, there's going to be a little bit of a vacuum. We'll have to break free too. So I'm just going to go around to each corner here and just gently persuade it until I find one that's going to let me pop that free. Then this one should probably follow suit, I imagine. Just gently pull that nut and make sure that, you know, we don't break the, uh, the 3D print right there. And that right there. So we can just pull this flashing off with our fingers. It's pretty quick and easy. Then I'm gonna follow suit with how I did on the top, on the bottom here. So, we're just gonna go ahead and reseat the blade here. There we go. Now, we just need to pop this away. Look through. So, there we go. I'll just peel.
peel the rubber off of here and that's all trimmed up and nice and clean. So there's our master model with the base built in. This is our new mold. So a quick inspection here. No bubbles. Surface finish looks fine. Everything cured as expected. So we are ready to start casting on that one. Thank you all for joining, and uh, we will see you next time around.